What's going on, everybody? This is Captain Obvious. You guys are the 11 crew, and today I have five games that should be on your radar this year. Number one, Sea of Solitude. Sea of Solitude is a game that allows you to explore dark emotions such as sadness and loneliness. It wants you to embrace your self doubt in the same way you would embrace your hope. You play as a young woman named Kay who is suffering from such bad loneliness that her hopelessness transforms her into a monster. Now, after that transformation, she drifts on a small boat through a deserted city where she encounters other monsters and learns more about what happened to her. The game is about finding out how she became this way, but also about exploring those emotions yourself. But nothing is new Alone in my room I tremble Number two, moving out. Moving out has a very overcooked feel to it, and if you're into couch co-op games that test your patience and your friendships, then this looks like the game for you. Now, we're getting less and less of these types of games as the years go on, so it's really refreshing to see a fun game like this come around. Avoid using your back. Be extra careful in high traffic areas. Use your arms and legs. Customers appreciate prompt delivery, no matter what the cost. Why not let machines do the work? Avoid detection from laser-guided security systems. Never zigzag while outrunning rolling boulders. Work smarter, not harder. Always dispose of the evidence. Be aware of your surroundings. And remember, moving objects is always more effective with a partner. Not only is it safer, but more fun. Moving out. Coming to the very latest in home entertainment platform. Number three, Tunic. Tunic is an isometric action adventure game about a tiny fox in a big world. It's basically like if Link turned into a fox. You get to explore the wilderness, discover spooky ruins, and fight terrible creatures along the way. Number four, My Friend Pedro. My Friend Pedro is a violent bullet ballet about friendship, imagination, and one man's struggle to obliterate anyone in his path. Now, all of this destruction comes at the behest of a sentient banana. Yes, a sentient banana. The strategic use of split aiming and slow motion create one sensational action sequence after another in an explosive battle through the violent underworld. Number five, Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium is a mix of cop show and an isometric RPG within a unique urban fantasy setting. You play as a disgraced lieutenant detective in a shore town where corruption's out of control, murders go unsolved, and all the kids just want to dance. You can chase down leads, interrogate suspects, or get lost exploring the city and unraveling its mysteries. 
The game has a completely unique skill system that makes all of your feelings, doubts, and memories an integral part of every conversation. What kind of cop you become is up to you. And build a truly unforgettable character. That's it for now. I'll be back next week with more games to look out for. Tell me what are some of the games on your must-buy list in the comments below. Captain Obvious out. Peace.